In this video, we will look at simplifying expressions that have rational exponents. We will do so by reviewing our exponent properties. When we have the same base multiplied together, you will recall that we will add the exponents together. When we have the same base divided, we will do the opposite, which is to subtract the exponents. We have a, several power rules. One says if the exponent is outside the parentheses, and inside the parentheses is only multiplication or division, we can put that exponent onto each factor, a to the m, b to the m. Notice this does not work if there was any adding or subtracting inside the parentheses. Similarly with division, we can put that fact, that exponent onto each factor, a to the m over b to the m. As an exponent goes through parentheses, we will multiply the exponents together, a to the mn. You may also recall that anything with a zero exponent on it will always divide out to 1. This does not mean an exponent of 1, a to the first, it means simply the number 1. Negative exponents mean the base has to move either to the denominator, in this first example, or back up to the numerator, in the second example. If the negative exponent is on a fraction, we can simply flip the fraction to its reciprocal, and then deal with that exponent. When we're simplifying and using several properties in the same problem, we will remember the order of operations. to help guide us through simplifying the expression. These problems are very similar to what we did back when we did exponent properties. The only difference now are the exponents are fractions. In this problem, we will want to simplify the numerator first because of the invisible parentheses around the numerator and the denominator. When we try and combine the x's together, into a single x in the numerator, what we will want to do is add those exponents. Adding exponents may be difficult to do mentally, so let's put some scratch work off to the side. We're adding 4 thirds plus 5 fourths. To add, we need a common denominator of 12. Multiplying the first fraction by 4 and the second by 3, we get 16 twelfths plus 15 twelfths which is 31 twelfths. This is the new exponent on x. Similarly with the y's, y to the 2 sevenths and y to the 3 sevenths, we want to add those exponents. Fortunately, we already have a common denominator. 2 sevenths plus 3 sevenths is 5 sevenths. There is nothing to simplify in the denominator. We have x to the 1 half, y to the 2 sevenths. Now, to simplify the division, we will want to subtract the exponents on the x to get the new x exponent on x. 31 over 12 minus 1 half will have a common denominator of 12. We multiply by 6 over 6 to get 31 twelfths minus 6 twelfths, and 31 minus 6 is 25 twelfths. This is my new exponent on the x. Similarly, on the y's, we can subtract those exponents. Whoops, I think I wrote 5 fifths. I meant to write 5 sevenths on there. 2 sevenths minus 3 sevenths. Now we are ready to subtract the exponents 5 sevenths minus 2 sevenths, which we could probably do mentally. By subtracting the numerators, 5 minus 2 is 3 sevenths. We are done simplifying when each variable appears once, and there are no negative exponents in our solution. In our next video, part 2, we'll simplify another example, this time with negative exponents.